Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back. And if you are new, welcome. So today I am just finishing up. I've got one more sheet to do. Um, waxing some papers for some upcoming journals that I'm working on. These, uh, there's two. They're going to be woodland journals. One's a custom order and one uh, will be available probably in my Etsy shop. But I wanted to show you I do have a video a while back that I did on waxing paper, and I don't know, I, I, I had just started doing it then, and I wasn't really sure what worked best, and I was trying a few different things, and since then, I think I've added a wax paper to darn near every journal that I've made, and there have been a few. Um, so I've perfected it a little bit. It doesn't take me as long to do now, um, and it's still a, it's still a process, you know, it still requires patience, but my goal is always to create a smooth finish. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who will put wax on papers and they have it sort of chunky and lumpy and, and that's fine. It's still a, a gorgeous effect. Um, but on my sheets inside the book, I want them to be smooth. I want that wax to just really play well with the paper and then it creates a sort of a translucent here's a sheet of paper where you can see this is cardstock that I've used and I've got um, again I'm making two different journals and I've got three different sheets so I've done two of these these by the way are pages from uh, Susan Taylor Brown at Poppiness, she's Poppiness on Etsy, has a new, it's sort of a mini kit that I'm, I am using and working with in this, uh, as well as, as some others, but it's called Woodland Wander, and these tree pages and leaves and trees are all in that kit. This last one my printer didn't like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's these funky lines through here. So I will do something with that. I'm not sure what yet because I printed it out a couple times and it did the exact same thing a couple times. So <laughs> don't know what's going on. But anyway, this is the last sheet that I have and then I will have done six. Um, and so I thought I would just turn the camera on and show you what I do and how I do them now. And you can see the difference between this is the one that's not done and this is the one that's done. And you can see the effect that it makes. And this is extremely smooth. That wax is soaked in and soaked up. So there's no lumps or bumps and it's just as smooth as it can be. It feels like a, a really, really thick piece of vellum. And so it's a gorgeous effect. And whoops, get these out of the way and I will show you what I do. Um, pretty much I use, these are a yellow pellet, a natural pellet I believe is what it's called. I will double check. Um, I will put a link to some wax pellets below and uh, in my description box. And I just sprinkle a few around and I've got a small craft iron here that, that gets hot enough, absolutely hot enough to melt it. Um, it's hot enough to do, the, it's not very, very hot. It would burn me, it's that hot, but it's hot enough to do what I need it to do when I'm using it. And then when I'm done with this process, of course, I'd clean it. So if you don't have, I would not recommend using your good, regular, everyday clothes iron. But if you don't have an iron that you can use for crafts, um, I recommend this little one. I, I think I got it at Joanne. Um, you can get them online. Um, and it's just it's just a handy little guy. And it, it uh, has one, one temperature. You just plug it in. No steam which is good for most craft projects. So anyway, I will continue along this manner and I'll probably fast forward here in just a second, but basically I'm just melting those pellets and using the iron to spread it around a little bit. I'm not worried about lumpy, chunky wax at this point. I just wanna get it melted and covered all the way. And it's just a matter of just doing some ironing, really, is what it boils down to here. Yeah, that's my favorite thing to do, ironing. <laughs> Not. 
I will put clothes in the dryer just to avoid having to iron them. So, yeah. Okay. Once you've got all your pellets melted, and don't worry, you'll have like, you know, chunky sort of parts here. Um, the first thing you wanna do is flip it over and see where your wax did not soak through. And you can see here's the edges where I'll be trimming it. And I've got a little white spot there. It did not soak through there. So I'm gonna try to just reheat that area and see if there's enough wax there to soak, to finish soaking through. And if not, then I will add a pellet or two. Let's see, where is that? It's right here, it's right there. So we'll just add a couple pellets and we'll just melt some more. Let that melt in. And that should do it there. And yes, see now it's soaked through. And this whole corner down here definitely needs some some extra extra oomph so let's just add some down there if you're using a regular iron that has you know multiple temperatures um a low heat is really all you need it doesn't take much to to melt these wax beads at all okay and that's pretty good just a little tiny bit down there and i'll that's actually probably Part where I would trim it off anyway. And just a little, little bit, a bit down here. I don't do the corners very well, evidently. Okay, there. Now I can tell, um, obviously there is still some spots that I didn't get, but they're along the outer edge and they're along the edge. You can see, you can see where you've got the, the white. Those are the, the edge where I will be trimming it off. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, the next thing I do is unplug my, unplug my iron <laughs> so I don't burn myself. The next part is, is a little tricky only because you don't wanna burn yourself. You're gonna use a heat gun um, and either a paper towel or a soft cloth, um, a cloth of course that you don't care getting wax on and what I do is I start on one side and I start heating it with the heat gun and I focus on a fairly small area at a time and I reheat that wax, remelt it until I've got a nice little area. And then I sort of use my hand down here to hold the paper and rub that area that I just reheated. And what I'm doing is I'm smoothing out, evening out also, but I'm smoothing out the uh, chunky part of the wax, if you will, so that my final result is a nice, smooth, even coverage. The pages that I'm using are all inkjet. Um, I do have both a laser printer and an inkjet printer, and my laser printer has been acting up a little bit. So these are all inkjet, and it works just fine. Um, works just fine. You'll also notice on your cloth or your paper towel, in my case, I'm just using a paper towel, that you're getting some ink on it. It's a small amount, it's minor, um, and unless your, your printout is just really, really, really light, it won't matter. And actually, I've never, even a light one might not matter. Okay, I think I've got it. And what I do is I just, once it cools down, because it is, you know, it does get pretty warm. So I just run my hand over that top surface and just make sure I don't feel any more chunks. And this is as smooth as, smooth as smooth. Um, now I'll flip it over on the back. <laughs> smooth as glass. Yeah, there you go, smooth as glass. So I'm flipping it over on the back and I'm basically doing the exact same thing. Now I'm just going to go back through and just check, not too bad. Back side is smooth, front side, 
front side looks like I got a little, here, let me flip this over. Looks like I got a little bit of residue from my mat getting too dirty on me. So I'm just gonna heat that back up. Go over it one more time and then this will be done. And so this is, it does take some patience. Um, you know, you've got to, you've got to just keep going until you're happy with it. Some people like, like I said, some people like having that, that rough texture and that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, the beauty about working in junk journals and what we do really is to each his own. So there we go. That is the process I use to get my wax sheets extremely smooth and soft all the way around. It gives you a beautiful transparent effect. And um, yeah, there we are. I'm happy with the results. Not happy with my printer goofing up, but I am extremely happy with these. So stay tuned. I think the next thing I'm going to be doing for those journals is working on covers. So uh, covers coming up, I'm going to be doing both of them completely different. So two very different covers. I guess I should leave that there so you don't have to see my ugly wax. There you go. Uh, three different covers coming up. So stay tuned. I'm back real quick. I just finished trimming these out and I wanted to just go ahead and show them to you in the, their final state. As final as they are now going to be, but everything is smooth. I've rounded the corners. I trimmed out all the excess white and I've got um, these two, which are here. Let me show you with a piece behind it. You can see the translucent effect. You see that? And then this one, which is, um, they're all gorgeous, of course. If you get a little bit of cracking on the edge when you fold it, you could just uh, hit your heat gun to it very quickly. A tiny bit is not going to hurt anything because that's going to be in your signature when you sew it in and, and you would never see it anyway. So, um, And then this one where the printer sort of goofed on me and I've got these lines in here. On this one, I will, I'm going to play with some ideas. I might sew a pocket on. I'm not sure yet, but on this one, I just trimmed those, trimmed them off, and it's just a skinny piece, which is wonderful and not a problem at all. It doesn't take away from the beauty of that image in any way, shape, or form. And so, um, so yeah, I'll just put that one in the book as a slightly skinnier piece, which will be just fine. So, and then I'm going to use this one as a test, maybe to play, to see... Uh, if I can, what I can do. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's that. Or I may end up not using it at all. Um, but that's it. Um, I am done for sure, for sure now. But I just wanted to pop back on and just show you what they look like. I wish I could, I wish I could show you the texture, the smoothness. I wish you could feel it for yourself. But um, it is. It's it's just really. Uh, it just has a very rich, smooth feeling to it. It's just really nice. So, so there's that. And again, I'll say goodbye again. And thank you so much for your support. I will be back soon. Bye-bye.